The big news is that Graham Dorans comes straight back into your starting eleven. How pleased are you to have him back? I am pleased. He's worked extremely hard. Uh, we've missed his experience. We've missed his craft. Um, I thought it was, a, it was a bad injury for him to sustain uh, and we need to be careful with him but I think he's, he's more than justified his place from what I've seen in training um, and I think today is a, a day where we need a bit of experience uh, in the middle of the park so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got for us. Is it testament to how fit he's managed to keep himself that he, you can just put him straight back in? I think it's also a testament to the work that our medical staff have done uh, and our sports science staff in keeping him at the right level. Obviously we, we know that he will fatigue but we have to make sure that we're ready for that and we, and we take care of it but he's experienced enough and he knows enough about his own body to to harbour his resources and make sure he gets the most out of himself. I think he could be a big influence for us today. You've got Ross McCrory on the bench as well. Are you pleased as a manager now to have a bolstered squad? I am. Um, we've got competition for places, we've got physicality, we've got Ross obviously is a little bit different from the guys that we've had in the past um, and I believe we've missed him uh, just as we've missed David Bates. So we need to make sure we reintegrate these guys as quickly as possible. Uh, and another big one for me is we've got Jordan Ross in the squad. Uh, he's not going to be on the bench today but it's good for him for his psyche to realise that we see him as a first team player. He needs to now to see himself as a first team player to continue his rehab. You spoke a little bit about the physicality of Motherwell in your press conference yesterday. Are you happy that this side can match Motherwell for that? You have to. It's a non-negotiable. Um, a guy said to me, um, Motherwell are renowned for their robust approach. What do you have to do? You have to stand up. The players have to stand up and, and, and take account of what's going to happen to them. If if they don't stand up to it, you, have, you need to understand what they're going to bring and deal with it. I believe they can deal with it, but once again, once they walk over the white line, it's up to the players to take that responsibility. And are you seeing an attitude from your players in training this week that they can bounce straight back and get that win again? The focus has been there, the quality has been there. Um, I, I believe confidence it comes from lots of different things. It comes from preparation done well. It, it comes from an understanding and a collective team spirit, but it also comes from a belief in your players. I have belief in these players. I've always had belief in these players one bad result won't change that um, and I do believe they're in a good place to go and get right back on the horse as we put it and, and get back in the game and, and go and get a positive result for us